Well, let's go to this argument of the firewall. Here we have a, a diagram that I had before. I've not looked at the initial state. I'm just looking at the stuff coming out. So we've got this thermal radiation coming out here. We've got the partner radiation going in there into the black hole. Later, we've got some thermal radiation coming out here. And what the particle physicists would like is that this radiation coming out here and this radi sorry, the total of all the radiation coming out of the black hole should be a pure state if the black hole was formed by a pure state. Therefore, there must be strong correlations, entanglement between this radiation and this radiation out here. But there's a problem with that. The problem is that if A is strongly entangled with B, then A cannot be strongly entangled with something else. In particular, A cannot be strongly entangled with C. C and B are different. And if A is not strongly entangled with C, then the quantum state in the vicinity of the horizon does not look like the vacuum state. In fact, the two-point function has got these step function kind of singularities right on the horizon. When one takes derivatives of those, one finds infinite stress energy tensors. <coughs> Quantum stress energy tensor becomes infinite just along the horizon. That's called the firewall. If you happen to be unlucky enough to fall in, you're going to be hit by this infinite stress energy tensor from the uh, running, uh, located just along the horizon, and get fi fried up. This is a funny sort of argument. After all, this stuff is occurring 10 to the 53rd ages of the universe after this stuff. Why in the world would the horizon care what's happening 10 to the 53rd ages of the universe later? Why does it care about this? region. This suggests that there's something horribly non-local in time between what's going on up there and what's going on down here. 